Hi guys and welcome here to this leak where today we're talking about alcohol meters. Now here at this leak we sell a whole bunch of different alcohol meters and a lot of people get confused about which one they should buy and uh, what their different uses are, why are there different prices and so on, so let's just quickly talk about them. So when we look at an alcohol meter and how an alcohol meter works, because that's another thing that people don't understand, they don't actually know how to use an alcohol meter. An alcohol meter is a type of hydrometer. Now, if you're familiar with an SG hydrometer, which we use to measure sugar content, just, you'll know what I'm be, uh, talking about here. A hydrometer basically looks like this, weight at bottom, calibrated for whatever I am measuring. So SG hydrometers calibrated differently from an alcohol meter. And it's got a long what we call graduated stem where we can see our readings. Now this is a standard 0 to 100 alcohol meter. Now the way you use the alcohol meter is as follows. We take our measuring cylinder which contains the liquid that we're measuring. This should be distillate or final spirit product only consisting out of water and ethanol. I take the uh, alcohol meter, I put it inside, and based on the density of the liquid, it exerts pressure against this weighted bottom of the hydrometer. So I put it in there, I don't drop it in, because if it's too strong, too high percentage alcohol, it's going to go straight to the bottom and hit the bottom, it could break because it is glass. So we slowly lower it in there until we feel resistance, and we give it a little twirl. Now that twirl is just to loosen any air bubbles that might be... Um, affecting my reading and then it floats inside the liquid. Now when you take a reading with an alcohol meter or an SG hydrometer for that matter you get down you don't lift this up in order to get your reading because if that line is not perfectly level you're not going to get an accurate reading. So we let it float, we uh, get down and we take our reading. Now when you take your reading your liquid layer inside here is going to form a little convex shape that's due to surface adhesion of the liquid to the hydrometer as well as to the uh, measuring cylinder itself. Now, you, because of that shape that it, uh, the liquid forms, you don't take your reading at the top of that level. You take it at the bottom of the level. Hence, we get down and at the bottom we take our reading, which in this case is 41%. Now, the less alcohol or the more alcohol that's in the solution that I'm measuring, the less dense the liquid the less pressure is exerted and the deeper it floats. So in this cylinder over here, we've got water. More dense than alcohol, you can see it floats higher. We've got 40% alcohol here, so the liquid is going to be a little bit less dense. It floats a little bit deeper. Where we take the final one, this is high purity distillate. You can see it floats a lot deeper because we're at 91%. So the deeper the hydrometer floats, the higher my reading, and I take that reading at the bottom of the meniscus. Now just one last thing we quickly want to talk about when you use hydrometers. You cannot use an alcohol meter on a fermentation. And the reason for that is that the presence of sugar, mineral salts, any other dissolved solids influences the density of the liquid. So you're not going to get an accurate reading. And to illustrate that point, what I've done here is I've taken the same 90% alcohol and I dissolved a little bit of invert sugar in there, about 5 mils of invert sugar I dissolved in there. That's why you can see the color is a little bit different. But it's the same 90% alcohol and still 100 mils. So I take the hydrometer, I put it in here, and suddenly my reading is 76%. So it's the same alcohol, it's still 90% alcohol, but I'm getting a reading of 76 opposed to a reading of 91%. Uh, and that is because the density of the sugar. That's why we cannot use an alcohol meter to measure fermentations. Now, we've got a whole bunch of different alcohol meters here at Distillique. We have, firstly, our small short stem alcohol meter. You can see a very cute little one. This is what you use in a small parrot, if you are distilling with a parrot with an adjustable reflux column still, or if you have a small measuring cylinder. Then we've got the long stem or longer stem. You can see it is, compared to the short stem, a little bit longer. The benefit of a longer stem is greater accuracy. You can get a um, more accurate reading on a longer stem. Then we have the longest of the lot, which includes a thermometer. Now, 
the 0 to 100 alcohol meter with thermometer. The reason for this is that when you measure alcohol, and you'll see this normally printed on the alcohol meter stem, it will tell you for what temperature is that alcohol meter calibrated. Now, the reason why the temperature is important is that if a liquid is warmer, it becomes less dense and the alcohol meter floats deeper. If the liquid is colder, it becomes more dense, the alcohol meter floats higher. So the temperature of the liquid will impact on your reading. In order to compensate for that variation, we need to know the temperature of the liquid so that we can use what we call a temperature calibration chart in order to rectify for that incorrect reading. Now you can find that temperature correction chart for 20 degree um, alcohol meter, because most of the alcohol meters we sell is calibrated for 20 degrees. You can find that in the article section of our website. There's an article there about dilution and that uh, there is a downloadable chart in that article that you can use with a temperature caliber or, or a thermometer with a temperature or thermometer um, to find out what the corrected reading is. Alternatively, you just use a normal alcohol meter and you use an external thermometer to measure the temperature of the liquid and you can still use the calibration chart. Then we have another type of 0 to 100 alcohol meter. This is with a very long stem. Again, greater accuracy um, than with the short stem or normal long stem uh, thermometer or uh, alcohol meter. But obviously, the price increases. The longer, the larger the alcohol meter, the more accurate the alcohol meter, the more expensive the alcohol meter. Not all alcohol meters are created equal. And on that trend, we get to the big boys. Now, these are our lab grade alcohol meters, and these are specifically for commercial distillers. Now, they need to be handled extremely carefully, and you can see why. It is highly breakable. It is a very, very thin stem, very thin glass. It is perfectly calibrated um, because when we go commercial, we need to be accurate to within 0.5%. The stated alcohol percentage in the bottle, we need to be within 0.5% of that stated percentage. So much bigger, much longer stem, but this only measures 10%. So you get a 10 to 20, a 20 to 50, a 50 to 40, 40 to 50, and so forth. So you have this long stem, which only measures 10%, opposed to a 0 to 100, that measures from 0 to 100%. That is why these are so accurate and why they are so expensive. But, like I said, highly breakable. You just look at this the wrong way, it's going to break. That's why when you order a, a lab quality alcohol meter from us, we cannot courier it to you. It is very breakable, a very good chance it's going to break during transit, so we cannot take that risk. So these are only available for order upon collection, or if you signed a waiver that you do not hold us responsible for uh, breakage during shipping. Also, please note that our, the um, courier companies themselves do not insure these alcohol meters. They refuse to insure them. The others, we're fine to send that, but these alcohol meters cannot be insured and we cannot take responsibility for couriering them to you. We take every precaution we can to wrap them up and bubble wrap them and protect them to make sure that they can arrive there in one piece, but we don't have control over the whole shipping process. So please note, you will not be able to select shipping or courier when you order a lab grade alcohol meter from us. You need to make alternative arrangements. So, that is our alcohol meters. Hope you find this information interesting. We hope you find it useful. And I hope you will be able to choose the right alcohol meter for what you want to do.